way? Which way should he go? Right, left, or straight? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Ryan's got to tell him where to go, left, right, or straight. So today we are in Florence doing a golf cart tour. It's our first time in Florence. Uh, it's probably going to be our only time. And this is just a good way to see the city and just kind of an overview. So I did one of these in Rome that you might have seen, uh, but now it's me and the family and in Florence. Hospital in Florence, established in 1288. So Leonardo da Vinci carried out dissections on corpses at this hospital. Santa Maria Maggiore, it's uh, one of the Santa oldest churches. So we started here, we took the train to here, and then we walked about a mile to our meeting point. So Jason Bourne, oh wait. I see like mountains out there, also. This is the main train station right here, Santa Maria Novella. So we took the train from Fagin Valdarno to here and then walked uh, that way for about a mile to our meeting point. During the barbarian invasions, the city was in a great state of decay. In this scenario, the lands reconquered by the Florentines in order to restore some decorum was put under cultivation. It was then that the cultivation of vineyards began, among which a small village called Santa Maria Padre Vigna stood out as the focal point 
later transformed with the arrival of Dominican Imagine Order in the 13th century into Santa Maria Novella, where Novella means new. In front of the magnificent basilica, which retains its original facade unlike others. <laughs> Church of All Saints. On the Santa Church in San Fabiano in Castello. On the side of the square is the Church of Ogni Santi, founded by the Umiliati in the 13th century, then enlarged and remodeled by the Franciscans when they ordered the Umiliati to suppress the behest of Cosmo I de Medici. Oh! Vespucci, the the remains a, a Medico a Vespucci, Florentine where America got their famous, names, having given her appearance to Botticelli's Venus. Finally, Botticelli himself, who ardently desired That's to be so cool. buried beside his muse, whom he had so often depicted in his masterpiece. Second bridge built in Florence after Monte Vecchio. So this one was a designed by Michelangelo. Expensive shopping street in Florence. So Ferragamo. Uphill now. So it's more green up here. Wow. You 
you gotta come here and just take this tour and see this view. Ah. <laughs> this camera does not do it justice. Superman. It's a little bit cooler up here than it was where we were by the river. This is Piazza Le Michelangelo. Hey, it looks like a piazza. Yeah, it looks like a piazza. Yeah, but it would be great that if you were over there last year, then me and Phoenix were over here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, beautiful piazza. Hmm? And then also littered with uh, souvenir stands and everything, too. But hmm, everybody people. makes their living, right? We got a statue of David here. Look. Yeah, it's a bronze Mom, of the statue of David. Oh, hold on, Ryan wants to show you Pringles. Guys, eating Pringles. So, I think we've eaten Pringles in every single country we've been in. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler, but I mean, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day out here today. Great day for a tour. We booked it through Viator. I'll put a link in it in the description for this tour. So it's Florence from above. We've seen Naples from above and Rome from above. I think Florence is my favorite. Don't tell Naples and Rome, but yeah. were built in 1336 and they're still standing. National Library. The building, on the other hand, has much more recent origins as it dates back to the early 20th century. The size of this library is impressive, with more than 8 million monographs and pamphlets in the year 2020. 
Eight million million monographs and pamphlets. So it has 87 miles of shelves in the library. 87 miles. Okay, so that was our golf cart tour of Florence with Eco Tours Italy, and I'll put a link uh, that we used to, to book it in the description below. All right, we'll see y'all next time.